This is our uh, key ceremony when we moved in. It was a big day. Ali Hassan Hersi and his wife, Shahrazad Mohammed Warsami Ali, celebrated with their two daughters and son as they accepted the key of hope, the key to their new Burnaby townhouse, and celebrated home ownership in Canada. For Hersi, who came to Canada from Somalia at 17, Habitat's promise of an interest-free mortgage, no down payment, and a family home was a dream come true. Oh my goodness, we were so happy. They told us that you are the perfect family that we're looking for. The family moved in and did their 500 volunteer hours and after a year requested a mortgage agreement and title to their home as was agreed. But that didn't happen for six years. The new CEO told, told us that he was new and we've been, we've been in limbo ever since. In 2020, the nonprofit finally gave them a mortgage proposal, but it was not what they'd agreed to in 2015. The value of their home had doubled to close to $600,000 instead of the $255,000 they'd expected. Uh, to, uh, ask, uh, Dennis, is this a switch, bait and switch? And when uh, my wife went to the office, they had a brochure with our picture and my children's picture. Yes. Uh, advertising home ownership. home ownership, but they're not providing us no that. Downplay. There's no commitment set in writing that I can find anywhere in the organization as to a, a, a value of the properties other than a fair market value, which is the policy of, uh, the legal policy of Habitat for Humanity. The CEO says he regrets the delayed mortgage and he blames an internal policy review. But he says it didn't harm the family financially. They paid $1,020 per month for a three-bedroom home, but the family felt betrayed and hired a lawyer to force the nonprofit to honour the agreement made to them in 2015, a deal they signed on papers they were never given copies of, despite repeated pleas. So for now, they're staying at home and fighting in court to keep it at a price they can afford. Yvette Bren, CBC News, Burnaby.